Hey everyone, wonderful to see you in here. Before I go into what I want to share with you, I want to say thank you for everyone who is showing their love and appreciation either vocally by giving me a comment or sending me an email and also the people that are just silent but are still appreciating. In the end we're all energy and we connect telepathically and I want to say I feel you, I appreciate you and I thank you. Okay, so having this said, I have two things for you today. I have a couple of quotes on money from Seth, you know, the amazing entity that knows how our earth reality really works and yeah, how life works and how we can make life work for us. And something that comes from me that I want to really stress that you do from moment to moment and especially when really nice things happen in your reality. So every time that you see something happening that you like, realize that the cause is you. You and your thoughts, your feelings and your beliefs have caused it. So for instance, if something happens really quickly, which I have had a lot of lately, that I think something and it is like a couple of minutes later, it is, I know that it is me not being in the way of it being. When we try to get something, when we try to get something from someone, when we are in the, <clears throat> why is it not here, where is it, and all that jazz, then you are not open to receiving it. You are in the, it's lacking and you will stay there. When you become, and when I become, more and more who I truly am, which is life force energy, which is love, which is trust, which is gratitude, because that's what we all are in essence, then it's really easy to quicker experience the things that are desires but they're not so much desires anymore they're just these because a desire for me sometimes it feels too big like oh, i want but the wanting and the needing that's all the wrong emotion that's all the wrong point of view it is more a light feeling it's like a it's like a thought a thought that just instantly pops into reality so constantly say to yourself when you see that, hey, cool, wow, I switched to the reality where, uh, where it is there. Because that's how it works, right? It's not we're waiting for time to pass. Yes, we have something that is called time, but it's not real. It's a camouflage. And while it is good that not everything pops into reality in the flick of an eye, because then I would be in really big trouble. And I even heard that there was an earth form that where things were like that. And you can imagine that it didn't uh, have long. The earth was like destroyed within, I don't know, milliseconds. <laughs> because if everything that you think of um, is materialized, immediately some things are nice and some things are not so nice. And also it would be boring, right? So back to the message reinforce that you understand how reality works by being aware of that when that thing when that message when that money when that love when that job whatever amazing happy day when that is happening realize that you caused it with your thoughts your feelings and your emotions you are the creator. Nothing else brought it into being but you and the whole of you. So, actually, that's it. Yeah. Um, before I go into the money quotes, I want to let you know I have been working on my money game for a longer time now. And it's going increasingly better. And it's yeah i when you get it when you really get it it starts to get so much more fun there's much less frustration 
there is my latest um, share that I have for you is that so I used to create unexpected amounts of money but usually through avenues of family and while I shouldn't condition where it comes from for me it's kind of like yeah but I know that I know that unexpected amounts bigger amounts of money can come through family I would like to experience through something else than family and I actually not even said it this nice I kind of was like no this is not an option anymore like yes fine I'm super grateful when it happens I want to create it in a different way and that's what I did like super unexpected and um, yeah I was just really amazed and a bit shocked at first and then uh, my first reaction was kind of worry and then I thought hold on <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute use this information because the worry is telling me something about where I am with that like where does the worry come from I always research my reactions my thoughts about things my emotions and my beliefs about things and yes sometimes it's really annoying and tiring but hey if I want to get better at this game, then I'd better put some effort there, right? Okay, um, yeah. What I wanted to say about this as well is that um, I've been working with the book, which is called How to Become Money. It's from Access Consciousness. And I wanted to read it for you, but I'm not allowed to by Access Consciousness. What I can tell you from this uh, exercise book is this. Mm, you should if you want you can get it but the gist of it is this money is whatever you make it to be and if you want it to be always there and multiplying then you should understand that in the end it is you the money that you are spending, that you are receiving, is you. It is energy. It is something that you can just easily call in like you breathe. And it is something that wants to flow. It is energy. That's all that it is. Just like anything else in this world. Money is energy. And when you start to feel confident that it is always there and that it is even growing and you handle from that, that perspective, in my case, I've been gifting more to um, charities, that's the word. So there are a couple of charities where I opt my uh, donation and I add it to charities that I really love or three. Uh, no, too. So it's not so much that I'm giving to charity that money flow is getting uh, bigger and faster towards me. It is that with this doing, I say to myself, to the universe, to everything around me, I can afford this because I know that I will get even more coming in. And I love to share, I love to create the world that I believe in. Oh, I'm getting a bit off topic. Well, not completely off topic, but I'm, I was supposed to also read you the Seth quotes. So this is what I wanted to give <clears throat> so far from my perspective. And now let's go into the Seth quotes that I have for you. And I will give you some more later. I don't want to make this video too long. So just the most important ones, or at least that I feel are. Seth on money. Your clear intent sets forces working for you. The clear intent takes it for granted that the results will indeed be highly beneficial and not cause detriments. Thoughts of abundance affect the inner order of events. You can think of what you will do with the money, how you cause it to increase life's enjoyment, which will in turn benefit you and others. Such imaginings can be quite helpful. Ask and you shall receive. Ask half-heartedly and you shall receive in exactly that measure. 
And this is a new quote. By the way, everything is from Linda Medendahl's page. I really love this woman. Okay, this is a new quote. Seth, the poor do get poorer and the rich do get richer because your thoughts and feelings instantly reach out and form the objects that surround you. Calling upon this inner power, for it is power, will bring about the fulfillment of many other abilities and strengths that are within you. Do not limit it, therefore. Do not insist, for example, that money come to you only through painting or writing, or that this power show itself only in health. Drawing upon this energy in one area also releases it in other areas. The poor do get poorer and the rich do get richer because the poor become entrapped by their projections of poverty. Now, the last one. People want wealth. No, sorry. People want to be wealthy because they believe they are poor. It is this core belief that is being objectified. The process then would be to stop wanting abundance and instead use the positive affirmation, I am abundant now. Abundance flows easily into my life. And then to see it is already true. One must of course deal with any subsidiary beliefs such as money is the root of all evil or that they do not deserve abundance. So this is it um, for as far as the quotes go. And then I want to stress one more thing because also, as I said before, right, from the book um, How to Become Money from Excess Consciousness, he says here, he, uh, I was talking about energy and all this is energy because we are energy. And Seth said in a quote that I read before, drawing upon this energy in one area also releases it on other areas which means if you are really good at one thing in your life maybe you have a really amazing relationship with your family or you have an amazing love life or you have an amazing um, friend's life for lack of a better term or, or all of the above then you know that this is also possible for your money game because all is the same we just divide it in our heads somehow but one is not separate from the other only if you make it to be so by your ideas and thoughts about it so first get your definition of money straight or let's say first loosen up your definition of money loosen it up like when you see um, a, a knot in something let's say a rope imagine that you're pulling this knot out of this rope and with every time that you do it or maybe even physically do it every time that you do it you say to yourself i'm releasing my ideas of money i'm releasing my ideas of money money is energy like i am energy and I am so abundant now because the truth is you are every version of you already exists every version of you already exists the super amazing abundant one and the other ones like there is no difference between you but the focus so focus yourself into understanding how money works and then before i go i want to say to you allow it to be easy let it be easy let it be easy okay i wish you a super beautiful abundant love filled money filled good food filled friends filled kisses hugs and strong amazing yoga sessions and whatnot and i see you in the next ciao ciao